When did family time get to be so complicated? Jerry has late hours at the office, the boys have work, school, and their social calendars, and Angela has rehearsal, piano lessons, or dance. Well, tonight I've managed to get everyone's schedule lined up for dinner and a movie, and I'm putting together a fuss-free meal that we can all eat in front of the telly. I'm starting things off with my fragrant Mexican Marquise soup, featuring tiny egg noodles and a rich homemade broth, simmered with a flavorful mix of shredded chicken, carrots, celery, avocado, and lime. You have never tasted anything so wonderful out of a mug. To go with that, my version of pie on the fly, savory empanada pastries from Argentina, filled with delicious, sweet creamed corn and fried until crispy and golden. No forks required so you can keep your eyes on the show. For dipping, I've got a yummy cilantro parsley pesto made with rich and crunchy Marcona almonds that should keep the whole crew quiet during the movie. But first, I want you to take a peek at my chicken soup. This is chicken soup like my abuela used to make. The secret to this soup is a really, really rich broth. I've already taken out the white meat because I don't want it to overcook. And I leave the dark meat in a little longer to give it flavor. And then the backs and the wings, I'll leave in there for at least another hour to really leach out the flavor and the richness of the chicken. In the meantime, I want to head over to my pantry because I want to get started on that parsley pesto moron's delight, I like to call it. It's one of those little cheats that I keep in my kitchen. You know, when I was a little girl, my mother and abuela used to go to 13th Avenue to the Orthodox Jewish neighborhood in Brooklyn, and that's where we would buy our chickens. I had never eaten chicken out of the supermarket before until we moved, way until we moved out of Brooklyn. We would go to the poultry man and we'd point and say, we want that one and that one, and he'd go pick our chickens, he'd clean them out, clean them up for us, and we would take them home and make arroz con pollo or chicken soup. And of course, in the summers, when I visited my grandmother in Puerto Rico, well, she would just head out in the backyard and pick the chicken that was dinner that night. So I really, whenever I get the opportunity, I really like to, to go out and, and, and make fresh chicken soup, the way abuela and mommy used to make. Today, I try to make more soup than I actually need. This way, I freeze what I don't need, and in a pinch, I have the broth that I need. Okay, so I have some cilantro, some parsley, and those fabulous Marcona almonds that I first had in Barcelona in the tapas bar. Marcona almonds are not your typical almonds. They're more like a, in texture, almost like a macadamia nut, really rich and buttery, and just, they've got great mouthfeel. Just pop one in your mouth and chew it, and you're, you're in love. In the meantime, I'm gonna add a little salt, we can tweak the seasoning afterwards when we taste. A little black pepper. And a little white wine vinegar. About two teaspoons. If you don't have white wine vinegar, don't not make this recipe. I mean, use what you have. You can use cider vinegar or champagne vinegar or even a nice herb flavored vinegar. And I'm gonna drizzle my oil right in there. smells unbelievable. I want to just scrape down the sides to make sure that everything is incorporated. Nice and creamy texture. And give it one more little whir. Terrific. That's as much as I want. Okay. I have a great little bowl here and my plastic wrap. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this pesto and cover it with, with plastic wrap and set it in the fridge. Now, when I serve it, I don't want it right out of the fridge because I'm going to serve this with hot empanadas and I don't want the cold pesto on the hot empanada. I'd rather it be like room temperature. But for right now, we'll just tuck it in there. Let's get rid of this. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take some plastic wrap and I'm going to cover the pesto with the wrap against the pesto so that there's no air hitting it. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want a nice, vibrant pesto. The air, if it oxidizes, it turns like a dull brownish green and I don't want that. I want that pretty color. See, I want the boys to get jazzed about this pesto as long as I made it, right? 
Okay, so we'll tuck this in the fridge. And I'm going to get my milk and my flour for my bechamel, which is going to be the base for my umitas, my creamy corn empanadas. So over here I have, I'm gonna hit this with a little heat. I want low heat because I want no color on this. I have four tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to hit that with a quarter cup of flour. As soon as that melts, let's put the flour over here. And add that flour. And I'm going to whisk that flour. To start my bechamel, which is going to be the base for our fabulous creamy corn umitas. And that's kind of like strange, right? Cream corn empanadas, I mean, you heard of picadillo empanadas, but these really are fabulous. And after we finish with our uh, umitas, I'm going to take you to a place where you've never been before. This Mexican soup, it's really, really something to look forward to. One dream. You are on the trip of a lifetime. One chance. My goal is to be the next Food Network star. One star. Spotlight is on. It's time to shine. The next Food Network star, tomorrow night at 9, 8 central on Food Network. Look for your blue envelope from Bowpack in the mail for delicious savings and a chance to win with Bobby Flay. It's the Chevy Open House. And now, with the Cash for Clunkers program, a great deal gets even better. Let us recycle your older vehicle, and you could qualify for an additional $3,500 or $4,500 cash back on top of all other offers on a new, more fuel-efficient Chevy. Your Chevy dealer has more eligible models to choose from, more than Ford, Toyota, or Honda. So save gas and money now during the Chevy Open House. Go to Chevy.com for details. Life has become more un. Shouldn't life insurance catch up? Now get life insurance the un way, online and in less than a day at hsbclifeinsurance.com. It's completely online with no medical exams, just a few precise health questions. Plus, on-demand help. It's uncomplicated, uncompromising. Get the right coverage the un way at hsbclifeinsurance.com. It's down to Jeffrey and Melissa. This is going to be your final challenge, your last chance. The very next Food Network star is... Last week it was Aunt Mabel's chicken. Week before was Granny's. Two pounds chicken, quarter cup breadcrumbs, a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch. Tonight, it's all me. Ranch chicken. Hidden Valley Ranch. Mix it up. If you have a headache so intense, the slightest sound feels as loud as thunder, then this is your Excedrin Strength Relief. Excedrin Migraine. One dose and relief starts in just 30 minutes. Excedrin. What ache? Stop throwing your hard-earned cash in the trash. The all-new Food Saver Vacuum Packaging System with Smart Seal technology can save you over $600 a year. Don't waste food with ordinary zipper bags and plastic wrap. The Food Saver System takes air out and keeps it out, eliminating freezer burn. You can buy in economical bulk sizes, knowing the extras stay fresh up to five times longer. With its new upright design and hands-free operation, it has never been easier to keep your food fresh. The Food Saver System, available wherever small kitchen appliances are sold. This is Food Network in the Kitchen. Okay, well, I'm back starting my bechamel. This is the base for my cream corn empanadas that I'll be serving with my cilantro parsley pesto. But I want to start the bechamel before I get going. And a bechamel is a pretty simple, basic white sauce, but you can really elevate it to like heights of, oh my goodness, of ecstasy by really showing it some attention. You wanna cook the flour out, you want it to be silky and satiny on the tongue, not floury or gloppy. Um, that can turn out to be a mess. You just have to be a little patient with it. 
Watch your heat. And this bechamel, I'm going to season with a little smoked paprika, which is uh, different than regular paprika. It's got that real smoky note in it, which is going to counterbalance the sweetness of the corn in a beautiful way. Okay, bring that up to heat. And I just want it to start to thicken a little bit. Once that happens, I'll be able to season it. When we went to Mexico with my family, we, we uh, stopped in this little town called Valladolid on our way to the Yucatan. And uh, you know, I tell you about my son, David, who orders the same thing at every restaurant that he goes to. Well, his brother, Mark, has the knack for going into a restaurant and ordering the absolute best thing on the menu. Every single time, it drives the rest of us crazy. And invariably, we end up like with all of our forks and spoons in whatever it is that he's eating, because that's how fabulous it is. Well, we go to this little town, a little colonial town that looks like something out of a Robert Rodriguez movie, and Mark orders this soup in this little bed and breakfast, Mexican bed and breakfast, a, a real colonial house. And the beauty of this soup was that they had babied this broth. I mean, it must have been for like a day and a half. This broth was so delicious and so rich that it was like the rest of the stuff that was in the soup was incidental. You wanted just to sip this broth because your eyes were rolling in the back of your head, your toes were curling. I mean, there was like all kinds of strange things going on, you know? Really, really good. So I've really made an effort to mimic that love and care that I tasted that day in that little restaurant in Valladolid to share with you today. Okay, so this is thickened up beautifully. You can see how gorgeous and satiny and unctuous that is. And I'm just gonna let that on a low, very low heat and give it a whisk every once in a while. And I wanna show you one of the secrets to my fabulous soup. I like to call it my hock and my sock. So I have a beautiful smoked ham hock, which imparts not only flavor and gelatin to this broth, but it adds a little seasoning of salt, and it also adds a wonderful smoke note, which is really fabulous. And in my sock, like this is all the good stuff that my abuela used to put in her chicken soup. And this is what makes it special. We have a couple of cloves of garlic in there. There's bay leaf, there's cilantro, there's black peppercorns. And over here, these little red seeds here, that's a chote, that makes the broth more golden and more beautiful and more delicious. And I'm all about the more. Okay, so let's put this over here and I'm gonna go ahead I want to show you also that I have things like whole sweet red peppers and onions with the skin because that skin adds more color and more flavor to that broth, gives it a beautiful golden color. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I'm going to go ahead and strain. All of that good stuff is going right in there. And I don't want to waste a drop. Usually when I make this broth, I make enough for this soup, and then I'll put some away in the freezer for a pinch. Running home late from work, I grab that right out. It's fabulous. Dinner in, in no time. I bring my broth over here. Take a peek at this. You want to love our bechamel. I'm all about the love. And then I'm gonna head over to the refrigerator because I still have to prep some veg. So I have celery, carrots, and let's get the corn for our uh, umitas out as long as I'm here. We'll set that over here. And I have eight stalks of celery and four. These must be the, the biggest carrots I've ever seen in the history of creation. Good gravy. Maybe we'll do three. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll set that one over here. Let me get ready. This is gonna take me some time. I'm gonna have to get busy. out at the gym today for sure. Look, I know it looks like a lot of vegetables, but remember I told you, this the payoff of this soup is the broth. It's incredibly rich and flavorful and wonderful, and this is the element that makes it that. So I'm gonna head over here and get my broth, which is already looking beautiful and golden and delicious. And I need a little help scraping these uh, up. Let's just plop them right in here. Tonight I want to see when these kids get their soup, 
I want to see everybody looking at Marky's bowl because I know immediately they're going to remember that afternoon in Valladolid. Of course, Angela ordered the shark pie. Go no. She does all of the shock value ordering in our family. And the guys kind of uh, let her do that. They're very comfortable with that. Okay, I'm going to put this on the back burner. And we're going to set it for a simmer. I'm going to heat that about 10 minutes, just until the vegetables are tender. And then I'm coming back over here to take a look at my beautiful, glossy bechamel. Remember, we added that beautiful smoked paprika in there to give it a lovely nose. Okay, that looks about ready to me. I have my corn. Now, if I had all the time in the world, I could use fresh corn, and I would throw in the cobs in there to, to further flavor and starch up that bechamel. But being that, you know, we're doing this in the express lane today, we'll just go ahead and, and use our frozen corn. I'd rather spend my time building that soup. Okay? And I'm going to just fold that in, and when I get back, I'm going to start shredding my chicken. I have an avocado I have to look at, and I'm gonna finish my beautiful umitas, my corn empanadas. Honey, family night and movie night? Doesn't get better than that. There are only two left. She's so extremely likable to me, and I think her information is beautiful. He's passionate, and I think that he's got the goods. And now it's time to decide. This is really hard. The season finale of the next Food Network star, tomorrow night at 9 on Food Network. Let's see if this neighborhood grill can match the value of Golden Corral's thrill of the grill. Off the grilled fish. No problem. Barbecued ribs. No problem. Juicy steak. No problem. Offer around 10 bucks. Problem! Big problem. No place can match Golden Corral's new thrill of the grill. For around 10 bucks, enjoy endless helpings of our new jalapeno glazed fish, honey habanero chicken, hand cut sirloin, Asian inspired ribs, plus endless salads and desserts, all for around 10 bucks. Daddy, can I get more ribs? No problem. Golden Corral, help yourself to happiness. We call the bunches and honey bunches. Votes the prize in the box. Well, now there's a prize inside the prize. Pecan. Pecans. Baked into crunchy oat bunches. Tastes a delicious surprise in every spoonful. Two honey bunches and votes for pecan bunches. Beautiful. HGTV Design Star is back, and this season, L.A. is getting a makeover as designers compete for their own show on HGTV. The competition is fierce, and so are the judges. This room was terrible. This is crazy good. It looks like a rainbow threw up in there. This summer's guilty pleasure will have you on the edge of your seat. Only one will be the next big thing. It's me. I'm next. Who do you think will win? HGTV Design Star. All new episode tomorrow at 10, 9 central. The choice is clear. For all your glass needs, call Glass Doctor. Glass to beautify your home. Expert windshield replacement. Even 24-hour emergency service for your business. Call the Glass Doctor. We'll fix your paint. Good night. Every week at Pathmark, we lower prices on thousands of items all over the store. We lower prices on so many items, even we're not sure how we get it all done. This week, get all family packs of ground beef 50% off. Stouffer's Lean Cuisine Entrees, $1.98. Pathmark, save all over the place. Time Warner Cable Business Class is something that will make your business more successful. Our internet, phone, and cable TV solutions for greater productivity and low operating costs. Our local sales representatives first evaluate your current services, then tailor our award-winning communication solutions just for your company. Nothing brings your office together like Time Warner Cable Business Class, where it's you first. The technology follows. Call now for your free evaluation of your present services at 1-866-TWC-4BIZ. It's funky empanada time. I'm almost finished with my beautiful umitas. 
You know, empanadas in Latin America are called a gazillion different names. In Puerto Rico, we know them as uh, pastelillos. In the Dominican Republic, they're pastelitos. They're empanadas in Buenos Aires. And when I went to Buenos Aires with my family last year, everybody was talking about, you have to try these humitas. And we're like, okay. So what I understand an humita to be is almost like a, a tamal in, uh, in Ecuador. And they said, no, 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 they're cream corn empanadas. So I was like, okay, that sounds like a little strange, but after trying these empanadas, we were sold. I mean, we ate them from one end of Buenos Aires to another. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really, really amazing. So I have my corn, my cream corn filling here, and I'm just wetting the sides of my discs now these discs, these dough discs have been colored with achote, that little seed that I'm always bragging about and telling you about. It imparts a beautiful, delicate flavor and a glorious color that really shines when you're making empanadas. So I have one empanada filling over there and the other one wet down here. Let me just fold it over. And now I'm gonna show you two really different ways uh, to crimp your empanadas. One is a little fancier, may look a little fancier, but um, I think they're both a lot of fun, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little mini lesson. This is the real traditional way that they crimp their empanadas in Buenos Aires. And what they do is they do this little pleating thing. Just running this over, folding it over, folding it over, and it makes a really pretty little empanada. My mother didn't have the patience to do it like this. I'm gonna show you in the next empanada. It's very simple, just a little a crimp with a fork. You see how pretty that looks? It's just, it's just a different way to do it. This empanada will do a Conchita Martinez style empanada, which is just, you have it wet down, you press it to glue, and then just with your fork, you make a pretty little crimp like that. And empanadas, I mean, any festive occasion, you're gonna find empanadas all over Latin America. What I like to do is, I like to make them smaller, and I freeze them, you know, fill them and freeze them, and then whenever I have a party or a couple of guests stop by, I have a little something to serve them. I want to check my oil. I want to put my empanadas in nice hot oil. I don't want them sitting in cold oil. I want those beautiful pastry bubbles that you know you get when you fry dough. And this should be about 375. I want a happy bubble there. Are we getting that? Yeah, it looks good. Let me just check the heat on that. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So I'm going to put half of my empanadas in. You see that pretty bubble? That's exactly what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. We're gonna turn them a couple of times, but I don't wanna crowd them. So while I put the first batch in, let me stop by my pantry and pick up my fideos for my soup. And I'm not gonna cook my fideos in my soup because I wanna control the amount of clarity and starch. And I wanna control the, uh, the uh, amount of time that the pasta spends uh, in the water. And I can do that like this. I'm gonna salt that water a little bit. And I have these gorgeous little pasta nests. But if you can't find pasta nests, look, thin, pretty egg noodles you can find in any store. So go ahead and do that. I'm watching my empanadas and I have some chicken to get to. That's great. We'll leave this here. And I have my chicken for my soup. I cooked it with the skin on because I want to impart uh, all of the gelatin and the flavor from the fat and the skin, but I'm gonna get rid of that skin now, and I'm just gonna, real family style, just shred it, kind of put it on the side. And when we get back, dinner and a movie now at Casa Daisy. <laughs> it started with 10. This is my audition. I'm coming to fight. I brought it. Challenges push their abilities. I need some help. I don't know if I'm going to continue on with the competition. Brought tears. That's questioning my integrity. I'm truly sorry. And sparked fights. Nobody was comfortable in working with you. I'm just pissed right now. Now only two remain. It's go time. This is it. The bar is really high. The season finale of the next Food Network star. Tomorrow night at 9 on Food Network. Feel like doing something more exciting this summer? Think Australian. Come on into Outback Steakhouse and try three meals at just $9.95 each. Like our Honey Dijon Chicken, our Signature Sirloin and Grilled Shrimp on the Barbie, or our Classic Outback Special. Live adventurous. Go Outback. This is Cranergy Energy Juice Drink from Ocean Spray. The great taste of cranberries, naturally energizing green tea, and B vitamins. It's a good for you kind of energy that helps you get stuff done. And when your days look like this... You need all the help you can... Get. Hey, your Wednesday just opened up. 
Now 40% more Cranergy for your money. Look for our bigger bottle in the juice aisle. America is all about freedom, including freedom to drive wherever you want to go. And with quality gasoline and pay at the pump convenience coast to coast, no one makes your ride smoother than Valero. We're the all-American gasoline all across America. Valero. Come on, let's go for a ride. Well, you got to prep the wall. Tape and tarp. Primer is your friend. Like a semi-gloss or gloss? Up and down in a zigzag motion. Oh, I always do two. Half-inch nap. At least one. Two to four hours. And boom, you're done. Hurry in for 25% off Duration and Duration Home Paint during our summer savings event. Save big on our top-of-the-line paints and find other great savings throughout the store July 26th through August 2nd. Visit SherwinWilliams.com for store locations. What rocks the road this summer? Free high-speed internet access. Breakfast and fresh in-room coffee. And our free Best Western Rewards card. And nothing rocks more than a free night when you stay twice. Plus, keep the points you earn. AAA members get even more. Better values, Best Western. What rocks like a free night and a free Jonas pack? A chance to visit the set of Disney's Jonas and meet the stars. For full details, visit bestwestern.com. How much can you get out of the Kenmore Elite HE5T washer? How about enough water and energy savings to pay for the dryer? Another reason why more Americans choose Energy Star rated Kenmore appliances than any other brand. Dinner and a movie night at Casa Daisy is shaping up really nice. I just finished chopping up my avocado secret ingredient from my soup and I have some beautiful cilantro here that I'm gonna give a rough chop to and that's gonna add a beautiful green floral note to this my favorite herb in the whole world you know how I feel about cilantro and I'm gonna chop even those beautiful tender tasty stems because there's a lot of flavor packed in them just right into my bowl with my avocado and I'm gonna take a peek at my empanadas that are bubbling nicely they look about done let me just put these out on paper towels to drain. Nice and bubbly. See those gorgeous bubbles in the crust? Love that. That tells me that my oil was the right temperature. Okay. I'm gonna juice this lime a little bit. Add some nice citrus note to that soup. Yeah, okay, here we go. Beautiful. And I'm gonna squeeze my lime right in there all of the butter of the avocado, it's gonna be fabulous. This is not chicken soup like mama used to make, right? Unless your mama was Mexican. <laughs> In which case, your mouth is watering right about now. Okay, there's one more beautiful element to my soup. I have my pasta here on the side, cooking on the side. And the reason why I didn't throw the noodles right into the soup, um, the glory of this soup is the broth. We spent a lot of time making that broth beautiful. So I wanna keep it nice and clear. And this way I can also control the amount of time that the uh, pasta cooks. And I'm going to drizzle that with a little olive oil because I'm all about layering flavors. And from looking at the clock, yeah, guess what? I may cheat and help myself to a little bit of soup. Let's see how this works out. I'm gonna add some noodles right to the bottom of my cup. And I'm gonna head over here. It's hard for me to talk with my mouth watering so bad. Okay, what do we have here? I have beautiful white chunks of juicy chicken, carrots, the buttery avocado, all that beautiful green cilantro, oh, and that gorgeous, I have to pour some of this broth. Look at this broth. How beautiful is that? Okay, let's get a taste. Ah, viva Mexico, that tastes fabulous. I'm gonna try my one of my empanadas, and I think I have, wow, just enough time to turn that uh, movie on. You can find these recipes at foodnetwork.com. Hasta pronto. 
Are you guys sick of the same old chicken cutlets? Well, it's time to try the other white meat. Pun, but if your family balks at the thought of another chicken dinner, well, throw them a curve. 